Hi friends, it's Mrs. McCarver and it's time for today's reading lesson. For the last couple of weeks, we've been talking all about informational or nonfiction books in our reading and in our writing. And one thing that we know about nonfiction or informational books is that it can teach us true facts or give us information. So every time I read a nonfiction book, I usually can learn something new. But sometimes when I read a nonfiction book, I have lots of questions. I might have learned or seen something, but I also wonder something else. We talked about this a few weeks ago, and we even thought of questions we could put on a wonder wall. So sometimes we read a book and it gives us questions. I was reading this Flutter Butterfly book a few weeks ago, and I got to this part, and it said, after many weeks, the caterpillar changes. And there was the caterpillar, and then it was like got this green thing on it. And the next page said, now it's a pupa. It's inside a hard covering. I was confused, and I wondered, what about this hard covering? Where does it come from? How does that hard shell get on the caterpillar? Does it have a name? I was wondering all those things. But then all of a sudden, I went to the next page and it says weeks pass, a butterfly comes out. Well, I wonder what was happening in here, what it was, and how it got into be a butterfly. But this book didn't really answer that question for me. So, Let's think about that. There are still questions I have about butterflies, but this book didn't answer them. So do I just give up? Do I just think, oh, my whole life I'll always just wonder what that thing is? No. Because here's the really cool thing, friends. I read this book on butterflies, but there are lots of different books about butterflies. I found this one called Butterfly, and I found this one called Born to be a Butterfly. Look at that. I have three separate nonfiction books about the same topic. And if this book left me wondering something, I bet I might be able to read one of these books to learn even more and maybe answer my question. So today, I want to teach you that sometimes we can find lots of books on the same topic. So I am going to show you the next slide where you will find links to books on the same topic. You can also go into Mayan or um, the Pioneer Valley books and sometimes find books on the same topic. But today, when you go to the next slide, there will be some links, and I want you to pick one topic and try to read two or maybe three books all about that one topic.